The Prime Minister this morning called an emergency meeting of the Cabinet, and an extra security cordon has been thrown round the research establishment at Thornes. No reason is given. Minister of Defence speaking, Gears. I'm just sending the preliminary to the PM. I suppose you haven't anything to add? No? Pity. Well, someone's head's got to roll. I can't be sure it won't be yours. Well, Osborne? Who is this fellow you took to Thornes with you? My assistant at the Ministry of Science. Why? Why what, Minister? Why did you take him? Why shouldn't I? Didn't leave a bomb behind, I suppose? Oh, no, all right, of course not. Do you know what this means, don't you? We've lost our capital, all of it. The computer's gone, the girl's gone, even the original message is gone. We can't start again. Once in a million years, I suppose, if that. A planet gets a Christmas present from some other planet, what do the damn fools do? They go and burn it. <laughs> Were they fools? We're back on American aid within the year. Better the devil you understand. The Boffins understood him? Only one did. Fleming. And you pushed him out on a limb. If an intelligence from another planet sends us a lot of technical data from which we can build a computer which will think for us and an anthropomorphic creature that will act for it, it's not for our benefit. Is that what Fleming thought? That it was an attempted takeover, yes. And if he did blow it all up, I for one don't blame him. Thank God it didn't fall into anybody else's hands. Just whose side are you on, Osborne? The losing side, usually. Give me another call to Gears, will you, please? Well? I don't know what happened. There's no point in lying to me, Flint. I was in my room all evening when the thing caught fire. I didn't hear anything until the sirens went. You didn't know Osborne and Reinhardt had been here? No. Look, I've got the whole of Whitehall around my neck. The Minister of Defence is on the blur every five minutes. I don't even know what happened. Osborne and Reinhardt, with another man from the Ministry of Science, arrived here just after ten, and the PRO took them to the computer. I don't know why, but then I'm only the director here. The duty operator locked up for the night. And the others went back to London? Yes. No one else went in? Only one other person, the girl. Andromeda. When she'd been there some time, the guard corporal thought he smelt burning. He went down into the main control room and found the whole place in a shambles and full of smoke. Thanks. And she? Got out through the fire escape. She dropped a glove. It was your glove. So you know it all. Only two people know. You and the girl. And the girl's dead. Yes. You're the only person, Fleming, who wanted the computer destroyed. You always have done. Oh, I think some others of us began to have doubts. Yes? Major Quadring is back, sir. Right, I'll see him in his office. Stay here, Fleming. I won't keep you much longer, Madeline. He's no business to drag you into it. You're not well enough. I'm all right. I'm a tough old bird. I must be or I wouldn't be here. What really happened? I've told you. You can trust me if you want to trust anyone. Oh, well, you don't want to be saddled with all this. You did it, didn't you? He must have smuggled you in, and you destroyed it, you and the girl. <laughs> you are in trouble, aren't you? The girl's dead. And no one else will give evidence against you. Right, Fleming, right. Right what? What happened when you got to the island? Quadring knows what happened. He chased us into the caves and we lost her. She blundered into a blind chamber with a deep pool and that was it. Poor bloody kid. I thought you held she wasn't human. Human enough to drown. Are you sure she fell in? Of course I'm sure. They saw the bandages, didn't they, off her hands? I have news for you. Major Quadring has had the pool dragged. There's no body. Gears? Yes, all right, I'll be here. The minister's coming through again. But she must be in there. The whole boiling of us saw her go in there. They'll have to try again, won't they? They've dragged it twice. But there's no other way out. We all searched. So Quadring says. So what are you going to tell the minister? Nothing yet. I'm going to have a look for myself, as soon as I can get the launch. 
Codring stood the cruise down. He'd been out for 18 hours. I'll take him. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Thorness. Let him. Uh, oh, hello, Minister. Where you came? Yeah. See how you can be sure of anything in here. You get used to it. It's the way to the chamber with the pool. Where are you going? Look at the other one first. Why? Well, there's a pool here too. You think they dragged the wrong one? No, even quadring isn't that big a bit. Well, I don't see the point. There may not be one. It may be just a coincidence, but it won't take long. Fleming! Hurt yourself? No. Well, look, this isn't your line. You'd better stay here. One minute. Fleming? Fleming? Fleming, is that you? Fleming! What is you? Did you see it? Yeah, it's a deep pool like the other. I think it's just behind the wall of the other cave. Where there's a deep hole in one chamber, it sometimes goes under the rock wall up the far side into another cave. It's like a U-tube. What goes down one side may come up the other. But nothing has. Not that I can see. You'd better get him to drag that, too. No, it's not a nice death, even for a creature. What's that? Well, it sounded like stones. But we're doing it. No, I heard it before while you were away. Fleming! What is it? What's that? I don't know. Something here, just a flicker. <laughs> Sit up, ducks. That's she is a while. Yeah, just try and drop her the hard stuff. Screw that for me, will you? You shouldn't force her to drink. Oh, come on. Yeah. Try and drop her the real unblended McCoy. Let's <clears throat> now try and swallow a bit. How did she get here? Then I must be a siphon. She'd have sunk like a stone and come up the far side and managed to hang on. Feeling better? Here, try to drop more. Come on. Then she, she crawled as far as here, I expect. Oh, easy yours, that's right. Let's get this round you. Okay, sit up, sit down. Can we carry her? In a minute. It's all right. Go away from me. Nice long holiday. Now, perhaps we shall get the truth. Oh, give it a rest, can't you? She's half dead. All you can think of is putting her in thumb screws. It's done. It's all over. It's finished. Andre, Andromeda. Do you know who I am? Can you get up? Yeah. Put your arm around. That's it. Up we go. Let's go. That's. There's a lot of questions to be answered. All right, then. Go! What the? Fleming! Hold on, darling. We're off. Come back! Come here! Wait! Fleming!
Coming. Yes. Herr Kaufmann, sir. Come on in. Have you anything for the post, sir? Only that lot. Herr Kaufmann of Intel. A take of you. Thank you, Your Excellency. I have been told... To come and see me. What else? Was I told? Nothing. Smoke? Oh, uh, these, if you don't mind. Interested in archaeology? You'll find plenty of it in Azran. Archaeology? Greek temples, Roman arenas, Turkish mosques, crusaders, castles. Uh, they've all had a go at us. And now Intel. What has Intel got to do with it? Your employers are the latest to take an interest in us. So? It's not unheard of for an organization such as yours to, to subsidize a breakaway state. We are breaking with the British oil interests, Herr Kaufman. You have more to offer. And what is our collateral? You're a trading organization that nobody very much likes. <laughs> I suppose. Your registered offices are in Switzerland. Yes. But your directors meet in Vienna. Yeah. In fact, you have no home of your own. We have trading premises in many countries and uh, influence. Your collateral is a home, sweet home of your own, from which you can operate without interference. Only we need a little expertise. One of your directors is coming here. Oh, which one? You know them. One does not meet them. Then it will be a nice surprise for you. In meanwhile, who did you know at Thornes? Thornes? You were in touch with the British government's experiments at Thornes in Scotland. <laughs> I was. Was? It was destroyed last night. The computer and everything associated with it was blown up and burned, as far as we can find out. I see. Well, what the gods give Please don't smoke those filthy things in here. I'm sorry, but I thought... If you want to go to the toilet and smoke... No, thank you, Colonel. There is a Professor Dorney and a Dr. Fleming. Wold ye worthlick lords, quoth Weywan to the king, bid me bows, bows, bow, budge, bid me budge for this bench and stand by you there, budge. Who's that? Let us in, please. Who are you? Just let us in first, Uncle. What do you want? Thanks. You're not a nephew of mine? No. It's an old runic greeting. Runic? Can we stay for a bit? Uh, I suppose so. Where have you come from? The sea. You have a boat? Had. It was wrecked. It is by now, I expect. I must confess I find you difficult to understand. I'm sorry. We're a bit flaked. What's happened to your friend's hands? She burned him. Have you got anything hot? Soup or something like that, huh? Only out of a tin. Look, it could be out of a gourd. Look, I'm afraid we're a bit of a nuisance. I'm sorry. No, no, more unexpected. If you don't mind, they drip on the upholstery. Huh? Makes the colours run. Well, there's a thing. How are you feeling? 
better now. Well, I should think we could pad down here for the night. How the old hands? They throb. <sighs> what is happening? We're running away. Who from? We started running two nights ago and it bust up the computer. Do you remember? And don't bother your head about it. It'll come back soon enough. What's this? Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Well, we seem to have landed on the Regius Professor of Philology for the Outer Hebrides. <laughs> Runes, indeed. Oh, it's a rum do, isn't it? Expected to find a shepherd and we found a sheep. <laughs> Wonder what he lives on. Condensed tomato, I'm afraid. Well, that's marvellous, thanks. Well, what is this island? Sowey? It's just off Sowey and very much smaller. Densely populated? One. You're on your own? And at your mercy. Now, look, please, we're not going to do anything. I apologise. That was very unsophisticated of me. But you were something of a surprise. Look, don't tell him anything. What could I tell him? I'm sorry, Anne. Nothing more we can do about these at the moment. Will they get better? Of course. Did I like you? Can't you even remember that? I'm afraid they don't go with the cloth. That's fine, thanks. My name's Preen. Adrian Preen. May I inquire yours? Fleming. Hmm? John will do. I only ask out of courtesy. You'll have to stay here, of course. May we? There's nowhere else. That's why I chose it. There's not much room, but we'll manage something. Why did you choose it? Because it was safe. Well, that's something. I hope it is. I used to protest about the bomb and that sort of thing, but I grew tired of complaining about lunacy and decided it was more sensible to avoid it. Well, that makes three of us. And when the bombs drop and you're a last oasis of life and learning, are you going to keep the pirates out? I'm afraid I haven't made any elaborate arrangements. This may make me feel braver. Look, you realise you're lumbered with us unless you've got a boat of your own. I have a small boat. What did happen to yours? I set it adrift. Didn't want to be traced by it. It's probably wrecked by now. Well, that's about all you can do. And keep me posted. Hello, is that the PA to the PM? Good. Now, listen, Willie, I've just had a call from, from, from Thorness. As they found the girl. But the ruddy fools have lost her again. Well, Fleming appears to have shanghaied her. Yes, Fleming. Well, Gears has got the Navy and the Air Force out looking for them, and I shouldn't think they'd have much chance tonight. There's a gale blowing. Yeah, I'll get on to you first thing in the morning. Uh, tell the old man we'll take no rest. We're doing sweeps right down from Stornoway to Col. The Navy is searching the Inner Sound, Quillen Sound. Right up here between Harrison Sky. It's been filthy weather. Well, they could be anywhere in that tangle. All right. We just have to hope. It's my own fault. I should never have let Madeline... I mean, fault it is. How's Madeline Dorney? Better. There's not much more for her to do up here, is there? There's not much left for any of us. I wonder whether... We had a request for her from the government of Azaran. That's all right. They want a biochemist. Why the hell, Madeline? They want the best, they say. Oh, it's up to her. You mean you'd release her? Or will you ask her, then? Must I? I've got other things to think about. Well, look, may I? You do what you like, old man. Gears. Hmm? Uh, uh, wait. Yes, I see. You're quite sure? Yes. All right. They found the launch. Where? What's left of it? Here. On the rocks between Barra and Southwest. Wrecked? Yes. The Navy spotted it and they picked it up now. There was no sign of. Well, you couldn't expect it. I'm hoping hell. 
suppose we call it off. Andre! Andre, where are you? Hey, you get lost out here. It's very hot. What is? The mist is being sucked back into the sea. It's hot. Hey, you better come in. What are these? <laughs> Peppermints. You suck them. Now sit down, I want to look at your hands. What is going to happen? I don't know. What do you want to happen? Nothing. I remember. What? It's all jumbled. I remember running and falling. Nothing before that. Mm -mm. Have to cut around this. Was it where we all live? Uh -huh. And a lot of people. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, that hurt? <laughs> and a machine. And a lot of figures. Everything was in numbers. It's the numbers I can't remember. Good. Well, we can do without the numbers. But I know they're there, only I can't remember what they mean. They don't mean anything to anybody anymore. Oh. Just having a look at her hands. My dear, how can you? The other one feels worse. Well, it isn't a lack of sympathy. It's... Let's have a look at the other one. Adrian, can I borrow your boat? Why? Where do you want to go? The mainland. <laughs> it isn't seaworthy enough. What a sky. I could arrange a meeting on sky. Whom do you want to meet? <laughs> there you it's all right. It's off. It's off now. Yeah, come and have a look at this. No, if you don't mind. I'm trying to answer your question. You want a doctor? Well, something more than that. We got two things from the computer. The missile interceptor and the healing enzyme. Adrian, can I get that boat? I don't want people brought here. Look, nobody will be brought here. I've paid a lot for my privacy. Look at them! You have some private contact? It's only a small boat, no use in rough weather. It's calm now. It probably needs tanking up. I'll see to that. No, no, I will. Don't worry. Adrian will look after you like a mother. for the return flight who have not yet checked in, please do so. 
flight PE279 from Reykjavik, Lewis and Skye has now arrived. Will any passengers for the return flight who have not yet checked in please do so? Nice to see you. How are you? The Hello. airport bus for Oban is That's now waiting at yeah. the main entrance. The bus for Oban. Tea, coffee or cocoa? All tastes the same to me. Coffee. It's a healing one this time, I hope, not the one that nearly polished you off. It's the original formula she got from the computer the last time she burnt her hands. Thanks. Ah, oh, what do we got here? Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> I've not long. You're mad to come at all. I didn't want a dead girl on my hands. No, you think of her as a girl now, do you? British European Airways flight BE279 for Sky, Lewis and Reykjavik will depart in five minutes. She remembers speech. Anything she learnt independently will come back to her. What was stored in the machine went up with it. She need never know she came from somewhere out there. I made her. All right. We'll stick to that line. Here we are. Thank you. Yes. Just through there. Come up here. Yes. Yes. Ooh, where's that? It Oh, it's a southwest of Sky. It's a shepherd's hut. I I'd as soon not talk about it. Again. This is the last call for flight BE 279. That's you. We'll I'm going away too. Sky, Lewis, Where to? Middle Lake East. Well, Please board the aircraft. Good luck. Bye. And thanks. British European Airways flight BE 614 from Orkney, Wick, and Inverness is due to arrive in five minutes. British European Airways flight BE 10 there must be some reason. There is. What? There is a reason, I know. I wish I could remember. It means something, but I don't know what. You mean you've read something about it? No, I know. I think. I shouldn't have read you this. It's not that. Would you like a glass of fruit juice? Yes. Do you think he'll come? I expect so. He will, won't he? He will come back. Listen. Stuart. The old man of the sea. Oh, <laughs> easy, easy. We don't want to make the colours run, do we? Now, there you are, Major. All well at home? Are they worse? Not to worry. Got the old repair kit. I didn't tell anybody about you. Very heavy winds with force eight to nine gales continue to sweep the northwest coasts of the British Isles. أعلنت حكومة أزران صباح اليوم أن اتفاقات امتياز النفط التي فرضتها عليها الحكومة الاستعمارية البريطانية السابقة قد فسخت وأن العالم Your visa, Professor Dorney. Thank you. That was the announcement of our freedom. We have broken our last ties with this country. 
our trade agreements. You won't have our oil anymore, I'm afraid. Your airline tickets. Thank you. We want the right people. We have many problems to face. I'm returning to Azaran myself. I don't know what you think I can do for you. We have agriculturalists, but they need a new lead from the laboratory. We can't go on grubbing in the sand forever and expecting our people to live below starvation level. One doesn't live below starvation level. We know that. You have vaccination certificates. Thank you. TAB and tetanus. Smallpox and cholera. Yellow fever, yellow fever. You have a yellow fever one? It didn't say anything about yellow fever on the list. Uh, it's not usually. Wasn't there a note? I don't think so. Ah, if there should have been. I can have it done. We can do better than that. Ask Mademoiselle Gamboli if she can manage another yellow fever inoculation. You have to be like a pincushion to travel outside the cordon sanitaire of the West. Yes? Good. I can see to it, Colonel. It's all arranged. Unless you'd rather... Uh, no. Ah. Uh, tell me about a colleague of yours, um, Dr. John Fleming. Why? He did work with you? Yes. Where is he now? I'm afraid I can't say. I had one report that he was dead. Is that true? I'm afraid I can't tell you anything about him. I see. Which arm would you like punctured? The uh, right, I think. Mm. Uh, you'll have all the facilities you need when we get there. Is that all right? Why do you want to know about Dr. Fleming? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. The main government laboratories are at Veleb, that's uh, in the capital. Uh, I will be there myself. I... Well... Are you all right? Could I have a glass of water? Of course. I'm not as fit yet as I thought I was. I... Now, where is Dr. Fleming? Here is Skye. And uh, what did she say was the other island? Soy. Soy. Ah, yes, here. Then there's another little dot just off there. Only one? Yeah. Then that will be it. You will have a landing party of three or four. I, you know Fleming. We want the right man. And the girl. But she is nursing. All the same. We will have her. I think you're bound to lose your bishop. What's that? Your bishop. No, outside. Get out! Get out! What the hell do you want? Get out of here! Let her do as the gentleman says. You dirty devils! You beastly dirty devils! Watch him breathe at the door! Uh, 
Shall I give him a drink? No. He may be bleeding inside as well as out. Here. Yeah. Uh, um, take this and look through the window. I can't uh, see much. Then listen. Uh-oh. Uh, it's got him inside here. Out there. It's not too deep. May have chipped a rib. Uh, You're all right, Adrian. It's not too bad. I'll just get a pad on it to stop the bleeding. Oh, Where's oh, the old stuff? Over there. That's all right. Okay. Fleming. Leave it to Charlie, boy. Fleming. What? There's a rubber sheet. Put it under me. Later, later. It'll stain the cushions. <laughs> Have they gone? Hey, look, it's no good trying to uh, sit up and do yogi until you've been strapped up. There we are. Just uh, get that on there. Put your hand on there. Good. See anything? No. Please, tell me what has happened. I wish I knew. I can't imagine what... Unless intel. I'm frightened. So am I. We can't leave him here. The flesh wound will heal, but... we don't know how he is internally. We'd have to get a doctor from Sky. Sally. That's the exclusion. So you've made a mess of it. You know, you are unbelievably stupid, Herr Kaufmann. No, stay there. No, stay where you are. Someone will come up to you. Yes. And get those things out to the car. Very well, Your Excellency. He belongs to you. I can't stay here when everything is happening in my country. I will take Dorney with me. I will see to it. Your people have found Fleming and the girl. What? He's in a hermit's cottage somewhere in the Western Isles. We've got them. Uh, no, not yet. There was a fight. I don't know why, and the hermit fellow was hurt. They had to send for a doctor, and he told the police. But the boat was... Yes. Well, it seems we're not the only people after them. Now, why should that be, Gears, eh? Excuse. Come over here. We may as well travel together. Colonel Selim has told you what to do. No, we are partners of the Azaran government, Herr Kaufmann. Not servants. You are also intel? Yes. Colonel Selim said a director was coming from Vienna. And so naturally you expected a man. You? You are? Cigarette? Oh, Peter. I'm so sorry I didn't realize. Where's Dr. Fleming now? In the same place. At least you didn't frighten him off. That was not my fault. No, your man ran away. Two of them were killed. We'll do better this time. Fräulein, I am not a gunman. Neither am I, but we will arrange things better. May I? Here's the bus with the other passengers. But may I know why? We need Dr. Fleming to help us with one particular piece of equipment. What about Professor Dorney? Oh, she's not important. She helped us to find Fleming, and she will be useful, I hope. But Dr. Fleming has special knowledge, which With we passengers need. passengers for British European Airways flight BE-285 to Sky and Lewis. Please assemble in the waiting room. Passengers for flight BE-285 to Sky and Lewis. you're doing, Herr Kaufmann. Mine? Lewis. We should have told you before. After all, you obtained the Bridger papers. When a message was first received from out of space, you made contact with the Dr. Bridger, who was working with Dr. Fleming, and bought copies from him. I passed them on. Oh, yes. And when he and Dr. Fleming interpreted it, 
As a specification for making a computer, you buzz it on two. Nothing ever came of it. Bridger was killed. You think nothing came of it. We have also built a computer in Azara. Come now. Flight BE 285 to Sky and Lewis. Please board the aircraft. Passengers for flight BE 285.